So I'm just here to address all this tomfoolery that's been going on in Cowboy Nation where you want to fill up one hole with Jamal Adams but take away from another spot at wide receiver with Michael Gallup. I know a lot of Cowboy fans don't think this way, but there are a handful of people that do think this way. And uh, I just kind of want to edumacate a few people, you know, just in case y'all forgot. Michael Gallup is not to be replaced on this team. He does a lot of important things for a a very cheap dollar amount. And uh, I'm just here to remind you. Let's watch. First thing I think is so great about having Michael Gallup is the mismatches, right? Um, First of all, we're going to get a little bit of motion, and we know that it's going to be man coverage because the DB is going with our motion. So we're in the red zone, and Dak and Michael Gallup are just going to continue to work on this red zone rapport, and Michael's just going to be so physical at the catch point, snatching that football out of the air, right? And let me just kind of, like, predict what a lot of people are going to say. Some people are going to say, well, watch, Michael does this against the second corners. He does this against the civilians. What's going to happen when he plays against good corners well luckily he may not ever play against no damn good corners because good corners are gonna go cover Amari Cooper you know what I mean and then um CD Lamb is gonna get a chance to go up against some civilians you know so I think just the 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 mismatch aspect of it makes him such a such a valuable asset you know um even in a situation where Coop might get hurt and Gallup has to take over cool now we got CD Lamb to go up against your civilian corner you know what I mean um so I just think Dak and Mike are going to keep continuing to work on that red zone report. That's nasty, by the way. They're going to continue to work on this uh, red zone report. We don't have to go get a jump ball guy. I think Gallup is that guy just going into his third year. We're working on it. He don't even want to get helped up. Look at the corner. The corner ain't even want to get helped up. So how about this? Zeke's going to line up at receiver. Of course, we're not throwing it to him there, but we just kind of want to put him out there to, you know, dictate the coverage. He's going to go from outside to the backfield. The linebacker is going to come with him. So that shows us uh, that is man coverage. So, yes, we know it's man coverage. So Michael Gallup is one on one with a civilian up there. Um, so now not only not only do we know that, but the linebacker vacated this space. So we got leverage to the inside and we got a little bit of leverage deep. And that makes me very excited. So we can go two ways here. Now we do also have a deep safety up here that's kind of making things, you know, tricky. And me with the big coach's view, I, I can see him kind of cheating down a little bit, just a little bit of a uh a pre-snap indicator that he's going to end up, you know, cheating and coming down a little bit. But maybe Dak didn't didn't really see it necessarily. So, And then, you know, why would you take the risk of deep throw with a safety high on the hashes? You know, why would you take that threat when it's second and ten and you could just get an easy nine yards just throwing this slant here because there's nothing but space and opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So Dak made the right play. You know what I'm saying? Dak, Dak made the right play here. Um, you know, it's just that if I was the offense coordinator or if I was quarterback, you know, <laughs> we'd be going to Super Bowl. But that's just me being braggadocious vach. But take a look at how Michael Gallup uh, got the release there, right? He's going to give us a little bit of a tiptoe to the outside just to get the cornerback's hips moving in one direction. Then just take the inside. Uh, the cornerback did a decent job of, like, hanging in there. But all Gallup needed was a, was a couple more inches of space to just, like, clean that clock. And Gallup is really good at these catches with somebody on his hip, man, contested catches. So if you give him an extra inch of separation, you know, as as ball game, you dead as fried chicken, playboy. I just think a lot of people sleeping on Michael Gallup, man. One thing I will say, one aspect that I always talk about is Yak, right? I think on this team, we either evened out or got better at Yak. Um, So we still got Gallup and Coop, so we're even there. But C.D. Lamb is a better Yak guy than Randall Cobb. That's just in the books already. Plus, you're going to get so much more from Blake Jarwin than you got from Jason Witten in terms of yards at the catch. Um, you know, to where Coop may be the fast, quick guy. Lamb is the slippery guy. Well, Gallup is an angry runner, so he's one big muscle. He never was skinny, um, but he's definitely swole now that he got another offseason under his belt. So he's just going to be even more swole, just one big muscle for you to for you to try to tackle. I think that's going to, you know, be even more of an advantage to us in the, um, you know, quick passing game, short passing game, throw those, throw those crosses in those, um, those shallow routes and all that. And I think that's partially why our, our sack numbers went down because we was able to get rid of the ball so quick. Show me some more of that beautiful yak footage, man. This, <laughs> this wasn't just a one and done, man. Michael Gallup did this against all kind of defense, man, because I know y'all was going to be like, oh, gosh, that's, that's Washington's defense. Anybody can do that versus Washington defense. man. Listen, man, Michael Gallup is hard to tackle no matter what team you're playing. No matter what team you're playing against, Michael Michael Gallup is hard to bring down. Delivering wood. And you don't want to just let go of this guy, this valuable second receiver, for cheap. 
just to go get a safety, man. Like, you, you can't be a pro bowler everywhere. And I would rather have more better players at receiver than safety. I can make safety work. We can't run Deontay Thompson out there thinking he could do what Michael Gallup can do. Michael Gallup just making tough catches over the middle. We know he can navigate short. He can navigate deep. He can navigate the intermediates. Um, and if he got somebody draped on his hip while he's in the air, draped up and dripped out in the air, um, Michael Gallup can make those tough catches, right? Now, Gallup ain't perfect, man. I know somebody going to talk. They're going to they gonna tell me Gallup ain't, ain't, ain't perfect. I know Gallup ain't, per- ain't perfect. He does have uh, – he did have some um, focus drops. But I think that comes from being a young receiver, you know. Gallup, this is his third year last year was his second year and i think most of his drops was just focus related he's a different guy now and i think with more uh with more play maturity comes more you know focus catches opposed to focus drops i ain't want to hang out too long man i just kind of wanted to put some respect on michael gallup's name for those of you that may have forgotten just wanted to prove with a little bit of film michael gallup is not perfect but he's a damn good number two receiver and i think he's one of the best number two receivers in the league um, so I'm definitely ready to see that that next step in his growth. Um, so we we uh, got some new little got some new little graphics on here, man. We got some arrows and some and some circles and some other little things on the film session. It's it's gonna be a lot more than the regular season when I um, when I actually do the rollout. Uh, I'm just practicing now. It took me like a whole week to make this film session because uh, I got my new PC and I don't know how to use this this uh, software as fast as I know how to use my other stuff. Um, so I'll be learning how to do this, and I should be good to go by September, by the time the regular season starts. So if I do do a film session, it may look like this. It may not. Just know I'm working on it to make this channel better, to up the production, uh, to just try to put a little more um, nipple on the titty. You know what I mean? Trying to be great for y'all, you know? Uh, but hey, man, like this video so it could, you know so it can show up in the algorithm and all that. Go in the comments. We're probably gonna have a conversation. I'll meet y'all in there. Uh, Shouts out to my PayPal people, my Patreon people, uh, my Cash App people, anybody that um, supports me monetarily. I put it right back into the channel, man. I, I I show it to you with the technology, with the new camera and all that. I ain't holding on to it. I'm putting it right back into the channel. Uh, next things next, uh, we're upgrading our live stream. So. Let me focus on that. Let me go through the proper channels to make the live stream a great experience. And we're going to continue this uh, rollout. You know what I mean? Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, the Peace, Weeski, man. Quit hating on Michael Gallup. Salute.